This is an Irish jig in G called Mrs. Galvin's Jig. <laughs> I almost said polka. Etc. It's a hard one to stop. It's one of those unresolved tunes that just keeps keeps on going and you can't stop playing. So, as I said, it's in the key of G. Um, again, you're going to want the roll video before this one because there's some rolls that are really integral to this tune. Though you could play it, you could play it without, but you'd be missing out. So. That's the first phrase. And the tricky part there is getting from the G to the D and back again. You can either lift your finger or you can roll your hand. Um, here it is. Second phrase. So A, and it's just A, B, A, A, B, A, but I'm flicking there with my finger. Then arpeggio up, ending on C natural. So again, that second phrase. First two phrases together. Back to the first phrase, ending, again ending, and you can put a little connecting A if you want to get back to the B to start over again. Let's play the whole A part. And I'm doing a little not quite roll. It's really just a grace note, I suppose. At the very beginning. So um, the second time. We have a walking up the the chord, the arpeggio G B D to high G is where we're headed. So the very ending second time. Keep right on going. So there's the first phrase. Starts on G. Second phrase. So it's the same beginning with a different ending. To E. Walks right back into. So again, the third phrase is the same as the first. 
Let's go through those first three phrases again slowly. So starting on G, we've done a walk up. Second time it goes to E. Third time is like the first. And then we have a G roll. This is the first ending of the B part. So again, that ending. G roll followed by another G. Again, we walk up, whole B part. Second ending has three rolls. And that would be the ending of the part, but you would never actually stop there. You'd either go back into the tune, uh, the A part, or end with a B to resolve it. So the second ending again is three rolls. And a walk down to B. Here's the whole thing. Back up. 